All right, guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. We're at the racetrack with Red. You've seen Red on race week, but this is his limited drag radio car. Makes about 3,000 plus horsepower, maybe 3,500. I don't know. Yeah, you know, somewhere around there. But you're one of the one of the guys that doesn't run methanol, which means you have a little bit more challenge as far as cooling the engine because you're on Q16. Tell us about how you cool off this thing between rounds. It's pretty unique, guys, because he's not using water or coolant like you would think, because that has obvious challenges on a race car, especially one that has a solid block. Yeah. So tell us what you're kind of so in between is. It's a solid billet block and a set of billet heads that do have ports around the exhaust valve area to uh, run water through out of our water tank. But it's very inefficient to cool it off that way. So we obviously hang fans. Uh, and I usually will just unclick the breathers and I've got a little piece that we made to go in the shop back. We'll stick through there, turn the shop back on and it'll draw the nice cool air through this side through the crankcase and pull air through this side. Good thing is also it's a dry sump motor so all the hot oil is here so it really cools cools the crankcase off super super fast so it's basically drawing cool air across all the yep. components of the engine Everything. pretty evenly really yeah and it also helps to pull any kind of moisture yep. we only run these things down the track at like 115 degrees yep so sometimes it don't even get hot enough to burn the moisture out of the oil so and then by doing good. that you're also avoiding having water leak and stuff like that oh, and yeah, yeah, dripping yeah, yeah. everywhere for sure, for sure for sure when these things come back you can put ice in that water cooler and try to circulate it it won't cool nothing off Yep. Everything's too hot, you know what I mean? And it usually so, cool probably 10, 15 minutes yeah, after I would you start. Say, I would say between 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get it to ambient temperature. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can actually feel it. You can feel this side of the motor, and it'll be quite a bit cooler than this side because it's drawing the air into this side first. It's kind of cool to, to see how it works. But yeah, $15 shop back, uh, a couple of hoses we made up, and it, it's super efficient. Works great. Yep, and then if it goes bad, you just literally get another shot back. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't have some big expensive rig that you got to worry about and maintain. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. I mean, that takes a car that just made 40 plus pounds of boost and went almost 200 mile an hour and cools it off in a pretty short period of time, really. Yeah, sure. good. All right. Thanks for uh, giving us a Tech Tip Tuesday. If you guys have ideas, drop them in uh, comments below and we'll try to get to yours next time. Thanks, Red.